right, let's talk about page 10. Today, page 10 is finding the percent. So you're going to, in number one, you're going to do one of those steps where you're just turning those decimals into percents as a way of preparing you. So question number one. I have zero and 35 hundredths. To change that into a percent, I need to multiply by 100 and move that decimal over so that now I have 35%. Do I need to put the decimal after the 5? No, it does not change the value. 35 or 35 point nothing is still 35. So you don't need to put it, you just need to make sure that you're moving it over so that you know you're changing the value of the number from 35 hundredths to 35 percent. So that's what you're going to do all the way from number 1 to number 12. You are going to take your decimal, times it by 100, move the decimal two spots over so that you get your percentage. Number 13, all the way to number 24, you're changing fractions to percents. So number 13, I have 1 over 2. Now to change fractions to percents, we've done this before, where you want to change it to an equivalent fraction with 100 on the bottom. If 100's on the bottom, that means whatever's on the top is your percent. So using those math facts, that we learn, the 100 math facts that are going to come in handy all the time. 2 times something is 100. Well, those 100 math facts, I know that 2 times 50 is 100. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the top. 2 times 50 is 100. 1 times 50 is 50. So that's 50%. So number 13 all the way down to number 24, this is how you do it. Each one of those fractions has a denominator that's part of your math facts, so you can easily turn it into a denominator of 100. Now, number 25, this is where you're going to figure out what the percentage is. So. Take a look at number 25. Number 25 asks you what percent of the first number is the second number. So if I have 100, what percent of 100 is 45? This one's super, super easy because I want you to think about it this way. If these numbers were the, the answers or like the mark that you got on a quiz, this is kind of the easiest way to think about it. If you had 45 out of a possible 100, what percent do you have? Well, as you know, if you have a denominator of 100, you've got 45%. Now, this easy one only works when you're dealing with the whole number 100 because you can stick it on the bottom. If you take a look at number 26, it's not going to be quite as easy. It's still kind of easy, though. Number 26 gives us 10 and 5. So what percent is 5 out of 10? Well, again, these ones are pretty easy because you can change it to a denominator of 100 to get your percent quite quickly. 10 times 10, 5 times 10, 50, 50%. All of those ones, number 25 all the way to number 30, you can do like this. Take the number, put it on the bottom, take that number, put it on the top, there's your fraction or the mark that you got on your quiz. And then change it into an equivalent fraction with 100 on the bottom and there's your percentage, no problem. Now I want you to take a look at number 31. 31 all the way to 39 are different and that is because they do not have denominators that are easily changed to 100. So this is where we're going to have to use division. So 
take a look. Number 31. So it says, express each fraction as a percent to the nearest tenth. So remember, when you have a denominator and you cannot easily change that denominator to 100, you need to divide. Now, normally we would do an outside calculation, but in the interest of time, let's take a look at our calculator. So, I have 1 divided by 3, and I end up with 0 0.3 repeating decimal. Now, if you take a look, it says express each fraction as a percent to the nearest tenth. Now, remember, this is giving us only the decimal. We still need to multiply by 100. So, let's first of all equals 0 0.33. And it says to the nearest tenth, so let's add another one just in case. Now, 3, 3, 3, so we know it goes 3 forever. Don't forget that this is the decimal. You still, it's still asking you to do it to a percent. So 0 0.3333333 times 100. Move that decimal. So now I've got 33.3%, which is what they've asked me to do. Express each fraction as a percent to the nearest tenth. Well, here's the tenth column. So here is the tenth. Make sure you have a tenth. And so 0 0.3333333 times 100 is 33.3%. So for questions 31 all the way to 39, that's how you need to figure this out. You need to use division to get the decimal, and then you need to multiply by 100 to get the percent. All right, and now we're going to take a look at number 40 all the way to 45. I need more room. So 40 to 45. Number 40. What percent of the first number is the second number? Express each answer to the nearest tenth. So this is where we're going to be doing the division times by 100, the two-step problem. So I have 35 out of 40. So I'm going to divide that step one. Where is my calculator? So 35 divided by 40 equals 0 0.875, which is perfect, times 100 equals 87.5 percent. So 40 all the way to 45, this is how you're going to have to figure it out. You're going to put the numbers as a fraction. You're going to divide the bottom number into the top number. You're going to write down the decimal answer. You're going to times by 100 to get the percent. So what that really means is 35 is 87.5% of 40. And that is page 10. If you have questions, don't forget to get in touch.